Step right in and see me, bro. Step right in and see me, bro. Step right in and see me, bro. You a bitch, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. You left your way. You a bitch. Y'all ain't out here now. Y'all, my mother ain't out here, bro. You see who you talking to, bruh? 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 You gonna sign what? You gonna sign what? You gonna sign what? Fuck you talking about, nigga. You ain't gonna sign nothing. You just a bitch. Fuck you talking about, nigga. You're a minute second more than you, nigga. You're a minute second more than you, nigga. You're a minute second more than you, nigga. You know what's up with me, nigga? Him and Young just did an interview, just like their third interview, talking about me. Shout out to Young, because he always keep it real with J-Main. J-Main just don't understand it. So J-Main got this narrative that he's pushing peace, and when I say the kids watch it, so basically I can't tell him the truth on camera. I got to tell him behind the scenes. I guess that's what he said. I could have pulled him up off camera and told him that, bro, Everything that I'm telling you happened on camera. Why would I tell you off camera, bro? Like, the whole world will tell you this. I'm not saying you supposed to did nothing. Or... Yeah, I am saying you supposed to did something. You was supposed to do something, bro. Y'all was gang, man. Y'all was a gang. Like, y'all was like... I was already knew y'all was a gang. You using a block word. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all already knew y'all were from D.C. I was just watching, like, little D.C. shit last night. Like, shit, like, what up? English, Lamar, and all that. Yeah, I was just looking at the shit. I don't know them niggas. I was just looking at the shit. That nigga a bitch. That nigga a bitch. Yeah, nothing. What's going on, YouTube gang? It's your boy FYB Mark coming back at you with another video. And today we're gonna be speaking on Aunt Glizzy and FYB J May, cause Aunt Glizzy then took up upon himself, went on his platform. You know, he then spoke on FYB J May. And the situation on Jay May interviewing Aunt, uh, I was about to say Aunt Glizzy. Boy, he had an interview with Aunt Glizzy, and him and Aunt Glizzy then spoke on the situation of him speaking on Duck, and then, you know, the whole city of Chicago, because Aunt Glizzy was speaking on everybody in Chicago, and Aunt Glizzy feel like FBG Young is right, and FBG Young feel like Aunt Glizzy right, and it's just like, Honestly, if you a man, bro, you gonna understand it on the real. But Aunt Glizzy, he took it upon himself on his platform, and he feel like J Main. When Duck passed away, he feel like J Main instead of pushing peace and trying to motivate these kids to do something better, instead of going out there and crash out, he feel like J Main should have took it upon himself. To go out there in the streets, bro. Go do some dumb shit. And in his fucking life, bro. On some stupid shit. And this is like, Aunt Glizzy, are you really this fucking stupid, bro? Let's be honest. Are you really this stupid? You are. You, you really want motherfuckers to crash out, to be honest. Like, that's what you're telling motherfuckers to do. You, want, you wanted J-Main to be a crash out. And you're mad that J-Main is not a crash out. You're mad that he's changing the world and pushing peace and motivating kids to do something other than be out here in these streets with guns and shit. That's what you mad about. And it's just like, damn, bro, are you really like mad about that? Because at the end of the day, if you are, that's some childish ass shit for one. For two, that shows what kind of man you are. And three, that make you a whole ass bitch, bro, straight up on some real shit. But I ain't even gonna lie to you. One thing that upset me about the whole fact was is the fact that he even said that he felt like J Main was supposed to do something. Like, bro, you wanted J Main to go out here in these streets, do something to somebody, and you see what J Main life is, bro. He got kids, he got a girl, bro, he got a family, he got brothers. He man, he ain't worried. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, he got this high. He got priorities this high. And you talking about a motherfucker going out here in these streets, doing something for five fucking minutes, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, bro, and ending your whole fucking life. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking Man, you must be a stupid motherfucker on some real shit. Aunt Glizzy, I'm going to be honest. You must be a real stupid motherfucker. 
And I know you do certain little things for content, but this is as much as the, the way you talk about this situation, this ain't for content, bro. This is really your mindset. And you sound stupid. I'm going to be honest. But it's your boy, FYB Mar, man. I'm just giving you my thoughts on this situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, G. And I'm out. Him and Young just did an interview, just like their third interview, talk about me. Shout out to Young, because he always keep it real with J-Main. J-Main just don't understand it. So J-Main got this nerd deal that he's pushing peace and what I say to kids to watch it. So basically, I can't tell him the truth on camera. I got to tell him behind the scenes. I guess that's what he said. I could have pulled him up off camera and told him that, bro, everything that I'm telling you happened on camera. Why would I tell you off camera, bro? Like the whole world will tell you this. I'm not saying you supposed to did nothing. Or... Yeah, I am saying you supposed to did something. You was supposed to do something, bro. Y'all was gaming. Y'all was a gang. Like, y'all was like...